the second talk of this afternoon. And uh, we have the, I have the pleasure to introduce Javier Elizondo from uh, Instituto de Matemáticas. Okay, I'm going to, to talk uh, about this series. This series comes from trying to understand and compute all the characteristics for child varieties. Um, however, the series was evolving and at the end it's kind of mysterious series because for some cases generalize the Hilbert series, in some cases is the del Sira function. Brand of set of function. So we don't know exactly what is the meaning of the series in some sense. However, we are trying to compute some good examples of that always to, to try to find out. So <coughs> first of all, I have to, to mention that uh, an, uh, an effective cycle is something like this. BK is an result of a predictive array, a super array of X. Okay. We fix a class in <coughs> homology, lambda, and we take all the cycles, effective cycles, which commonly classes lambda. Um, this is well known that this is a projective variety. And the first case is hypersurface PM, in which our variety is in geos projective spaces. The second, the third case is a coarse and degree tree in P3, so we have Four components. They are the, the generic components in each of this one is the twisted cubic, uh, a conic and a line outside of the plane. And then you have three lines in general positions, and then you have the, the twisted cubic. Okay. So we take the the monad of algebraic cycles in homology. And we define this space. This space is just the functions from the monoid to the integers numbers. And we take one element there. This is the other child series in dimension B. Okay. <coughs> and this is the only characteristic of 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 land. So we say that an element in here is a rational if we have two polynomials, no one zero, so that is hard. It's very hard to find out when the only child series is a rational function. Um, when X is the predictive space, Blaine Lawson and uh, Stephen Zhao compute the series, and they got this invention P, you got this one. How did they compute this one? This is, um, you have a total section in the predictive space, an algebraic total section. So you have the diagonal matrix acting there. Um, varieties of dimension P and degree D under this action goes to another variety of dimension P or degree D and therefore induce an action in the child of X. Okay. And if something is invariant under the action, then you got fixed points in the child of X. So there is this result, the other characteristic of X is equal to the other characteristic of C T, which is the, the algebraic torus. And therefore the in P N the the action of the torus is just the only thing that are invariants are the K planes. Okay, play the problem comes. So you have finally many, so you make the computation and you get the series. So in this case, you, you are able to compute the other characteristic directly than then to compute the series. In general, that situation is not happening. <coughs> we also is able to compute the fortorical lines. These two cases where the predictive space is a total. So the only cases that we know the only chance series for all dimensions are toric lines, implicit toric lines, projective lines. And as an example, we take the global of P2 at one point, and already the, the, the formula is uh, nice, but not so simple. So G24 also is possible to compute in all dimensions. In this case, it's important to mention that the torus action to the different of toric varieties 
to have actually um, you have fixed points only in the Chavo variety. You have a, a actual variety of dimension greater than zero, which is fixed. You have families in G24 which are invariants of dimension not trivial. So you have really a lot of families there. And however, we were able to compute this one. We were trying to compute four flag varieties. Um, the problem to try to compute for global values, even for the magnets in general, is we have to understand the series for the global of, of Pn cross Pn along the diagonal, and we don't have to do that. We also, with uh, Shinichi Kibura, we were able to define the series with uh, moti motifs. Instead of taking the other characteristics, you take the motif for the variety, and you define essentially more or less the same thing. Um, <coughs> we were able to compute the modic channel series for P2, global P2 along half points in a line. And we got one, we got this formula. So it's getting more and more complicated in a way. And an important thing to do, to mention, is that the series is different for the global if they are in their own position, from some points, and they are in a line. So the, 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 the series give you information, geometrical, geometrical information that usually you don't get with algebra problems or loss of homology, etc. Et is, is that true for other triangular numbers? Um, <coughs> six in the column? Yes, I, I will mention at the end some results for uh, the peso surfaces, for instance. I have a student who has computed the, the series for some kind of decomposable, decomposable world surfaces. But in that case, it's interesting because it's the first case that you don't have the peak now of x equal to. So you have this thing. So the series for co-dimension one, when you have the curves of the variety equal to the integers, is just the Kilbert series. But you have a or generalized Kilbert series. This is a fair example that we don't have that, and big numbers can be one uh, big. Uh, the case of zero cycles was computed by no long time ago. <coughs> um, you got this one. Um, I mentioned this. The reason for this is because if big is like this one, so the other characteristics are going to be the dimension of zero. Okay? I'm going to step by it. And the reason for this is that the map, the, the, the map from Picard to the channel classes is injective, and therefore what you have is this, and then the other characteristics is just the, the, the dimension of this uh, Okay. So <coughs> when you have this situation, all the all the all the coefficients are the dimension of these spaces, right? So you take the, the ring associated to the to the series and you got exactly this that is the cop ring. <coughs> this well known that the cost ring is Netherian, therefore it's rational. Um, <coughs> there is an example that the other way around is not true. When you have a smooth part of surface is in B3 and you take the blob off in a you know, point, then the cost ring is not finally generated. However, the series is rational. I mean, the main reason is uh, it's coming from Mori, from the, the work of Shang Kiel about uh, Mori dream spaces. Okay? So, for a smooth projective surface, is you have the, the space is monitoring, in particular, the coffin is Italian. Uh, if only something happened with the, the columns of net divisors. And you, you need all this one to be semi ample And this example, that, that doesn't happen. The columns is very nice, they are rational for the but uh, there are net divisors which are not uh, semi ample So the coffin is not uh, finally generated. 
So the conjecture that we have is if X is a smooth rationally connected predictable ID, then the series is a uh, rational if only the cortex is finite. And this is if only if is the space is somewhere between the states. So the series of, as you can see, the series is connected to many different things. And we don't know exactly what is the role of the series playing. So the, the main point, the geometrical thing, the, the geometrical problem that we really have is that when you have this situation and you have even many effective devices in the X, each of them generate an external radioactive cone, this is transcendent. It means you live in Z dot two brackets X in, all right? So something there is to be algebraic, it satisfies a polynomial with coefficients um, with coefficients in Z bracket A. <coughs> polynomials, coefficients, okay, in the same way. So we can prove in so many cases this is this is uh, transcendent. So it's very bad. But well, still it's open the question how the only characteristics behave and we can always thought there are many different kind of well behaved for the given a series the well defined coefficients even in this situation. Um, for any smooth predictable y that dominates x via rational regular maps, this is transcendent. So it's related in some way with a uh, rational So the example that we have where the series is not rational and is very bad behaving is uh, the example that Mokai constructs uh, trying to find out a counterexample to the Peter program, 14 in Peter program. He was studying the invariance ring for actions. Um, he found out those rings are not finally generated. And then they became to be the other things. And we compute for those spaces the other charge series and we find out this not transcendent. So this is this is the um, this is the situation that we have. So you take the blow up of these things. Usually one thing is the blow up can be very well behaved, but for the series it's not true. So given this condition, condition one, so this is the cosmic is not finally generated. And therefore the series is, and we prove the series is not. And all the discussion is coming to the effective cone of X. And they have even many external ways. And I just mentioned that in those cases the series is not much. The second corollary is something similar. So we have these new examples. They are not of the kind of new kind. So always do a for, for particular cases related to the question that you made. Um, when delta, for instance, is a, is a final set of points here that contains points in beta and that was the example, for instance, right? the two coins in intersecting in the middle of the And the other one is the row of the product it's also with some conditions. So it's a lot of geometry here. I mean, just going in the case of, in some cases you can make a very nice con geometrical construction of this. So E1x is transcendent in the following cases. X is the global P2, a final set where delta contains intersection T general P curves. X is the blow up of P3 and the final set of delta contains the intersection of three general points. So they are the particular cases, right, for the blow up mm, in some not very general position, but in general position. X is the blow up PR, a final set where delta lies on a linear superspace and contains the intersection of two general points. So there are a lot of examples of this one. This is 
you can also prove something similar to loss on MGL theorem when you have an algebraic topics under certain situations, not always, but in most cases that we are interested, this is true. The multiple parexes, the multiple with this concept of the those algebraic tools action there. And that helps us to compute precisely the motivic chart series for toric parameters. So the technique is essentially the same. We don't know if there is an exists exist a commodity theory, the odd part and the even part corresponding numerator and denominator like the Bell Silva series. We don't know that. As I mentioned also with the only characteristic, the, the only characteristic version, the only child series, this also, also is different with the global in the, in the position of the, the points in the global, you have different different results. So it always is, is very subtle. <coughs> um, for the multiple child series, we haven't been able to compute any more of the cases. Just sorry about like some global the two alone our points in the line. Okay. Are there any questions for Javier? How does the block valence and conjecture enter ah, into this? Yes. It's a uh, if Sandre there is a the if Sandre series is gonna be rational if the bike is on conjecture is already true. Because it would imply that all the varieties are finite dimensional, motivity, and therefore the is re when you have a, a finite a finite dimensional motif for a variety, so the is and re is series is rational. So well is on implies that all vari projective varieties are finite dimensional motivity and therefore the series is always rational. Only in that sense. Uh, have you been able to, to show that some varieties are finite dimensional that were not known to be using this method? Um, the motivic one? For the motivic one? No, in those cases, no, because you have only the Sorry, but I sp2 are points along the diagonal way. No, we haven't done. Avillian variety, we, we compute the Avillian varieties for every child series, and probably it's the same that the multiple block there is, there is a, a font of categories that send you the oil, the child mo the motivic child series to the other characteristics and the motive to the other characteristics. And then you can prove the other child series, the motivic child series go exactly to the other. So the, the rationality of this one for this one, there are some volition. This is stronger, the other child series. Could be a stronger condition. But we compute for this one, so we suspect it's true always for the two. In fact, it's trivial. The other child series for a million more is trivial. It's almost zero everywhere. Because the only characteristic is the only characteristic of subtorus, the invariant thing, and so the only characteristic is already zero. So most of the coefficients are zero. So the series goes very simple. I have a similar question as Philip, but replace Nagata by Bayesian. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Are there any more questions? Okay, so let's thank Javier.